Hi guys, it's Sandeep from Phone Arena and we just got the Marshmallow update on the Motorola Moto X style. So we thought why not do a rundown of new features Motorola and Google introduced in this new update. In case you need the kernel version and build number of the update, here it is. We can also spot the new Android security patch detail in the about page. As a part of fixing severe security bugs in Android, Google introduced monthly security patches. We can see that we have already received the patch along with our Marshmallow update. The next feature is the battery saving feature known as Doze. This feature recognizes when your device is idle and automatically puts the device into a deep sleep state. It also shuts down unnecessary background processes in order to optimize the battery life. Along with Doze, we also have App Standby where we can control less frequently used apps to use less processing power as well as battery power using this option. You can also optimize system services using this option. You can access this setting by going to Settings, Battery and then selecting Battery Optimization on the top right menu. The next feature is the newly introduced App Permission feature in Android M. You can block any apps from using various critical features of the device like contact details, calendar info, GPS location, microphone, camera, etc. Newly installed apps ask for permission to use any of these features and you can manage app permissions in settings within apps and app permission from the top. Next is app links. For example, when you click on an embedded tweet on a web browser, it redirects to Twitter. You can manage these types of redirection in app links. You can either enable the redirection or make the app ask every time before redirecting or even completely disable it. You can also edit supported links of each app individually. The next feature is known as Adaptive Storage. Android M gives us the option to use the SD card or USB OTG as system storage. When you insert an SD card, you go into storage menu to format it as internal storage. It also displays the warning that formatting the SD card as internal will make it secure and it will only work on this specific device. The next feature is called Do Not Disturb Mode. We have three modes in this menu. The priority only mode blocks all interruptions except those from contacts and apps that you flag as important. Total silence blocks all interruptions including priority and alarms. Alarms only blocks everything except your alarms. You can also set automatic rules for priority mode in more settings menu. You can also enable some apps to show notifications priority mode by enabling the treat as priority option in the app settings. The next feature is a small addition to the volume control UI. Instead of a single volume control, you get three sliders to adjust the volume of ringtone, media and alarm individually. Then comes the much hyped Now on Tap feature. Now on Tap can be invoked anywhere in the UI simply by holding down the home key. It is quite useful and comes in handy in some use cases. Lastly, there are some new features in the bundle Moto Assist app. The first feature is called Attentive Display which is basically Moto Actions. When it's turned on, it doesn't dim the screen or lock the phone when you're looking at it. Next feature is to keep the screen dark for a certain period of time. You can set the time in the Moto Assist app to enable the feature. This is quite useful when you're sleeping and do not wish to be woken up by a bright display in the middle of the night. So that's it for the video guys. Hope you like the new features Motorola bundle in Android M for Moto X style. If you like this video, do hit the like button and do subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.